A blessed morning to everyone, especially to our subject professor, Ma'am Emma Darrell Concepcion de Kenya. So, we are the group 2 presenting the CA 102 Non-Institutional Correction Amnesty. So, mahalalaman natin dito kung ano nga bang amnesty. Saan nga ba ito nagmula? At sino ba ang maring mag-file? Saan natin ipwedeng i-file? Anong mga kaso ang pwedeng mag ng amnesty at marami pang iba? So, now we will proceed to our reporters. Amnesty Definition and Nature of Amnesty Amnesty, a general pardon extended to a group of persons such as political offenders purposely to bring about the return of dissidents to their home and to restore peace and order in the community. It is generally exercised by the chief executive with the concurrence of Congress. Amnesty derived from Greek word amnestia. Amnesty is it is an act of sovereign power granting oblivion or general pardon for past offense and rarely if ever exercised in favor of single individual is usually exerted in behalf of certain classes of person who are subjected to trial but that have been convicted. Amnesty ay nagmula sa salitang amnes amnestia Greek word, it means forgetfulness. And when we say granting, ob, granting oblivion, oblivion, it means to totally forget, to totally forget or general pardon for past offense. Ibig sabihin ay grupo na mabibigyan ng amnesty. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na grupo, na grupo kayo ay mabibigyan na agad kayo ng amnesty. Yung sinasabi na grupo ay tulad ng magnanakaw, grupo ng mamamatay tao o grupo ng rapist. Dapat kung kayo ay mabibigyan ng amnesty, you are a group of person who have committed crimes against a political characters such as treason, citation, or rebellion. Sa lahat po ng clemency, ang amnesty po ang pinaka-unique. Bakit ka mo? Because this is because this is the omni-executive clemency that requires the Congress. Concurrence the Congress. Ang ibig sabihin ay kailangan Kailangan muna ang pagsasangayon o pag a ng kongreso. Bakit nga ba kailangan aprubahan muna ng, ng kongreso bago bigyan ng amnesty? Dahil po ang amnesty po ay, ay ang crime na nakukumit ay crimes against national security. Ang apektado dito ay ang ating bayan. Dito, dito, tayo, dito tayo mga tao ang agrabyado sa community. Ang representative ng amnesty, ang representative dito ay ang kongreso. That's why kailangan, kailangan na, ng pagsasangayon ng kongreso dito sa amnesty, sa tinatawag na amnesty. Father Joaquin J. Bernas, Father Joaquin J. Bernas, he was a member of the 1986 Constitutional Commission which drafted the 1987 Philippines Constitution. Father Joaquin defines amnesty basically as a general pardon and submit that what distinguish the two forms of executive clemency, pardon and amnesty, are simple the number of recipients of the act of clemency and the nature of the offense, which is the subject in the in PAC, he opines that what the president may not grant by amnesty because of non-concurrence of Congress, he may grant by individual pardon. Purpose of amnesty. 
The purpose of amnesty is to hasten uh, countries return the political normalcy by putting behind in the animosities of the past through a pardon that will open the door to living normal lives of groups of people targeted by the amnesty. These groups were once involved in political activities during certain troubled times like war or rebellion. And by making a gesture of the states for getting past destructive activities of political dissidents or rebel and allowing them to lead normal lives, the country in turn will ensure its return to normalcy. So, ayun nga po yung sa rebellion. Amnesty completely extinguishes the penalty and its effects. Amnesty looks backward and abolish and puts into oblivion the offense with which he is charged that the person released by amnesty stand before the law precisely as to thought he had committed no offense. In one case decided by the Supreme Court, it was held that to avail of the benefits of an amnesty proclamation, one must admit his guilt of the offense covered by the proclamations. Vera B. versus V. People of the Philippines. SCRA in 152. Amnesty is public act of which the court should take judicial notice. Thus, the right to the benefits of amnesty once established by the evidence presented either by the complainant or prosecution or by the defense can not be waived because it is a public interest that person who is regarded by the amnesty proclamation which has which has the force of law not only as innocent for he stands in the eyes of the law as if he had never committed any punishable offense because of the amnesty but as a patriot hero and that be punished as a criminal in one case decided by the Supreme Court, it was held that the person released under an amnesty proclamation stands before the law precisely as thought he had committed no offense. Part 3, Article 89, Revised Penal Code, provides the criminal liability is totally extinguished by amnesty. The penalty and its effects are thus extinguished. People versus patriarchal. GR number 135457, September 29, 2000. Okay. Limitations on the exercise of tiyah. Una, it cannot be granted in cases of impeachment. Hindi raw pwedeng magbigay ng amnistiya sa mga kaso na may kinalaman sa impeachment o pagkaka-impeach. Pangalawa, it cannot be granted in cases of violation of election laws without the favorable recommendation of the Commission of Elections. Hindi raw pwedeng magbigay ng amnistiya sa mga kaso na may kinalaman sa pagbabahilate ng election laws tulad ng pandara pandaraya without the favorable recommendation of the Commission of Elections. Ngayon, kung maire-recommend ng Commission of Elections na pwede kang bigyan ng amnistiya, pwede kang bigyan ng amnistiya. Kailangan lang ng recommendation ng Commission of Elections, pangatlo. A grant of amnesty must be with the concurrence of a majority of all members of Congress. Pangatlo, ang pagbibigay raw ng amnistiya ay kinakailangan na dumaan sa Kongreso. Kailangan pagbotohan ng, ng mga miyembro ng Kongreso katulad ng Senado at Kamara, the Senate and the House of Representatives. Kailangan ang boto is one third of the members of Congress. One third. Okay. Pangalawa, distinguish amnesty under Philippine laws and American laws. Pagkakaiba ng amnistiya sa ilalim ng batas ng Pilipinas at batas sa Amerika. Basically, amnesty as it has been utilized and understood in Philippine history is taken as having the same nature and effect as its American counterpart. 
Simula pa noon ang amnistiya raw ay pareho ng nilalaman at epekto ng amnistiya sa Amerika. Okay. Ang pagkakaiba lang nila, the only difference is the source of the power of granting amnesty. Kung saan ang gagaling yung kapangyarihan sa pagbibigay ng amnistiya. Sa Pilipinas, amnesty is granted by the chief executive with the concurrence of Congress. Ginagrant ang amnesty galing sa chief executive. Ano ba yung chief ano ba yung chief executive ng Pilipinas? Yun yung presidente. Siya yung pinakamataas sa executive branch of the government with the concurrence of Congress. Ibig sabihin, ang pagbibigay ng amnistiya ng presidente ay dumadaan muna sa Kongreso. Kailangan pambutuhan ng mga miyembro ng Kongreso at this one Sa United States of America, Amnesty is deemed included in the pardoning power of the president. Ibig sabihin, katulad ng pardon, sa Amerika, ang amnesty ay hindi na dumadaan sa kongreso. Ito ay solong kapangyarihan ng presidente. Under American laws, sa batas sa Amerika, under American constitutional law, amnesty is defined as an exercise of the sovereign power by which immunity to prosecution is granted by wiping out the offense supposed to have committed by group or class of persons prior to their being brought by trial sabi dito sa ilalim ng konstitusyon ng Amerika ang amnesty ay kapangyarihan ng soberanya ng estado kung saan ang amnesty inililigtas ka nito sa pag-uusig sa paghuhukom sa prosecution kung saan inaalis ang mga kaso mo nililinis ka naalis yung mga kaso na nagawa mo kadalas na ito o not kadalasan ang mga binibigyan ng amnistiya ay ang mga political may kinilaman sa political offenses katulad ng insurrection rebellion kudita okay By provision, grant of amnesty takes the form of a general pardon by virtue of presidential proclamations without the concurrence of Congress. Ang kapangyarihan ng presidente sa pagbibigay ng amnestia. Sa Amerika, hindi na siya kailangan dumaan sa Kongreso. Hindi na siya kailangan pagbotohan ng mga miyembro ng Kongreso. As practice in the U.S., An amnesty in favor of a class or classes of person accused of certain offenses against the state is deemed to constitute an act of oblivion, obliterating not just the penalty but also the offense itself. Sa pagpapractice ng amnesty sa United States, ginagawa ito o ibinibigay ito sa mga kaso na may kinalaman sa Uh, crime against the state crime against public order like yun nga, insurrection kudita rebellion mutiny this was the effect of the amnesty proclamation issued in 1863 by the US President Abraham Lincoln following the civil war in the US and during the Vietnam conflict in the 1970s in favor to those guilty of violating the Military Selective Service Act amid strong opposition from different sectors. Ang amnesty galing yun sa proclamation ng dating presidente na si Abraham Lincoln noong 1863. Pagkatapos nung matapos yung civil war sa Amerika at during the Vietnam conflict in the 1970s in favor to those guilty mga guilty violating the Military Selective Service Act Military Service Selective Service Act ginawa ito pagkatapos ng Vietnam conflict at civil war ang nilalaman nito ang mga kalalakihan na umaabot ng edad 25 pataas ay nire-required o mandatory na pumasok sa military 
Ngayon, yung mga taong ayaw ayaw pumayag, yun. Dahil doon ginawa yung amnesty sa kanila. Philippine loss. Sa ilalim ng batas sa Pilipinas, in the 19, 1987 Philippine Constitution, particularly Section 19, Paragraph 2, The power to grant amnesty is expressly provided and granted to the president subject to the concurrence of a majority of the members of Congress. Sa ilalim ng ating 1987 Philippine Constitution, uh, sa Section 19, Paragraph 2, sinasabi na ang amnistiya ay kapangyarihan ng presidente na kung saan ang pagbibigay ng amnistiya ay dumadaan o kailangan pagsangayunan ng nakararami sa miyembro ng kongreso ano ba yung nilalaman ng kongreso kongreso andyan yung kamara or house of the representatives nandoon yung mga congressman kongresista ng bawat distrikto sa Pilipinas okay? yung pangalawang part ng congress ay yung senate or Senado, andun yung ating mga senador. Philippine presidents have used amnesty to restore unity and harmony in society after divisive issues polarize Philippine society. Philippine presidents, yung presidente ng Pilipinas, ginagawa yung amnesty para isaayos o ibalik yung pagkakaisa sa Pilipinas dahil sa napakaraming issue na, do- na nangyari o dumaan sa ating bansa katulad ng mga um, communist party like MILF MNLF NPA yun binibigyan ng amnesty yung mga taong involved doon ngayon para magkasundo yung gobyerno at yung yung mga miyembro nila okay. throughout Philippine constitutional history except the period of American military occupation of the island the power to grant amnesty has always been expressly provided for as a power shared by both the, ex- the executive and the legislative branches of government ibig sabihin Simula pa nung simula pa nung panahon ng Spanish or American American military occupation or Japanese ang amnistiya ay kapangyarihan na ng presidente at ng legislative branches okay Pres, yung chief executive, ando siya ng executive branch kasi may tatlong branch sa government. Yun yung executive, ando yung presidente, sila yung nagpapatupad ng batas. Pangalawa, legislative. Ando yung senate, yung house of representatives o yung kongreso. Sila yung uh, gumagawa ng batas. Pangatlo is yung judiciary, yung yun yung nag interpret o nag-aaral ng batas. Ngayon, yung amnesty pinagtutulungan siya nung parehong branch yun yung executive at legislative branch of the government okay. amnesty during the Spanish regime study of the Philippines history had mentioned amnesty proclamation made in the nature of general pardons during the Spanish regime granted by governor generals to include Legazpi, Tura Suleiman, and other chiefs in the 1570s, Pulahaveja, January 11, 1897, Pajardo Corquiera, and Mar- Mar- Manrique de Lara-, de Lara, particularly those granted to Filipino and Chinese insurgents.
study of the Philippines history. Sabi daw po dito, sa mga pag-aaral ng kasaysayan ng Pilipinas ay nabanggit ang mga proklamasyon na amnistiya na gina- ginawa sa likas na katangian ng mga pangkalahatang pa- kapatawaran. Sa ano naman daw po, uh, amnistiya during the American American regime The first am- amnesty proclamation in the country took effect in the 20th century and was issued by U.S. President Roosevelt on July 4, 1902. It's granted full, full and complete pardon and amnesty in favor of person who commit treason, sedition, and all the other crime of, of political character in the course of, of the insurrection of the Filipinos against the Spaniards as well as those who gave aid or comfort to said persons. The, the proclamation also covered offenses which grew out of internal political feuds and decisions between Filipinos and Spaniards or with the Spanish authorities or among the Filipino themselves. The only condition set forth in the terms of the proclamation deemed as a wise and humane act conducive to peace order the, the, the loyalty excluded the following from his coverage. Sabi daw po rito, uh, mga unang, unang proklamasyon ng amnistiya sa bansa ay nakabisa noong ika 20th century na inilabas ng Pangulo na si President Rosiel noong July 4, 19 O2 Amnestia ay pabor pabor sa mga taong gumawa ng pagkataksil at lahat ng iba pang mga karme na may kaugliang ang politika sa kurso kurso ng pag-aalsa ng mga Pilipino para sa mga Espanyol dati na rin ang mga nagbibigay ng tulong aboard na bisang tao ang lumasyon ng isang sumasaklaw din ng mga pagkakasala Pagkakasala na lumago mula sa panloob ng mga alitan ng mga pulis. Pulis, pulis o pagtatalo ng mga Pilipino at mga Espanyol. Sa mga otoridad ng Espanyol o kabilang sa Pilipino tinutukoy ng mga tukoy ang mga nag-iisang kondisyon ng tinakda sa mga tuntunin ng proklamasyon ay tinuturing na isang matalino at makataong kilos na nakakatulong nakakatulong sa at nakakatulong sa kaayos ng pag- pangkapayapaan at ibinukod ng loyalty ang sumusunod na saklaw. Ayun lang po. Marami. List of Amnesty Proclamation President decrees and issuance by Philippine Presidents after the Japanese invasions. Number 1. Proclamation number 8. President Manuel Roas granted amnesty to guerrilla and resistance fighter on September 7, 1946. The amnesty sought to recognize such person not, not as criminals 
but as patriots and heroes who have rendered invaluable service to the nations. A guerrilla amnesty commission was formed by virtue of Administrative Order No. 11 in October 21, 1946, to which should also to avail of the amnesty must apply. Six, ad six additional commissions known as the Philippine Army Amnesty Commission, which were to take cognizance of the case of persons subject to military law and failing within the terms of permission were created. Later thought ad to ad Administrative Order No. 17 no in November 15, 1946. So, ano, dito, ano, um, about ito sa, ano, sa kay Pangulong Roas. Kung baga ang, ano, ang ginawa ni Pangulong Roa sa panahon niya, ano, binigyan niya ng amnesty yung mga ano, binigyan niya ng amnesty yung mga gerilya at mga ano, yung mga mandirigma ng, pag, ng panglaban o hukbo noong September 7, 1946. Dito naman ano, ayon dito sa amnesty, kung baga ano, uh, ayon dito sa amnesty na to, yung mga taong ano, Yung pagkakilala sa mga tao dito ano hindi bilang isang kriminal. Kung mga yung ano about to sa ano sa yung tingin, tingin ng mga tao sa sa kanya na ano, na hindi kriminal. Pero ano ang ang tingin dito ano na makabayan at bayani na nagbibigay sa na, na, at nagbibigay ng ano ng napakalagang paglilikod sa bansa. Kumbaga ito ito na ngayon about to is patriots. Kumbaga ito pa yung ano isa isa pa ayon kay Manuel Roas ano ang pagkikipagkomisyon ng guerrilla para sa ano para sa amnesty para sa amnesty ano uh, ang pagkikipagkomunikasyon ng guerrilla para sa amnesty ano, ay nabuo sa pamamagitan ng utos na administratibong blog 11 October 21 1946 so ano at dito naman ang mga karagdagang pagkikipagkomunikasyon ng amnesty ng Philippine military ay dapat kilalanin but but kapag ang tao ay nagpaisa ilalim sa batas ng militar at pagkabigo sa loob ng mga tuntunin ng proklamasyon ay nilikas sa administration blog 17 November November 15 1946 so yun na ngayon abot ito lahat kay ano kay Pangulong Roas so next number 2 Proclamation number 51 Dated January 28, 1948 President Rojas issued the proclamation that granted amnesty to those who collaborate with the enemy during World War II So, it, ano pa rin to? Sa paikipag, ano to? Utos ni Pangulong Rojas o yung mga rules niya about sa amnesty Dito naman, no? Dito naman, ano? Lumaga ito ay, ano? Ito yung sinabi ni Pangulong Rojas Ayon kay Pangulong Roas, ano, nagbigay siya ng mga amnesty sa mga nagkipagtulungan sa kaaway sa panahon ng World War II. Noong Enero, noong Enero, Enero 28, 1948. So, dito, dito daw, ano, binibigay ng amnesty ni, ni Pangulong Roas yung, ano, yung nagkipagtulungan sa kaaway sa panahon ng World War II. So, number three, Proclamation number 76. Issued by Elpidio Quirino on June 21, 1948, granting conditional amnesty, limited to leaders and members of the groups of Bumbayan, Laban, Sapon, who otherwise known as ano, Hukbalahap, ang pambansang kaisaan, mga magbubukid PKM. Dito naman na ito, kung kanina abot kay Roas, dito naman abot kay Elpidio Quirino. Kung baga, dito naman ano, ayon kay Elpidio Quirino, Noong, noong June 21, 1948, ano, kumbaga nag-grant siya, nag siya ng ano ng conditional um, amnesty at limitado ito sa mga ano namumuno at membro o kaya sa mga grupo ng hukbong bayan laban sa hapon. Yun nga, otherwise nun as hukbalahap ang pamansang kaisan mga magbubukid PKM. So, number four. Proclamation number 81 and 86 were thereafter issued 15 and 31 15 and 31 July 1948 respectively extending the original period 
up to August 15, 1948. Yun na nga, ito na nga yung ano yung dito na nga nag ano, nag-proclamation yung number eight, number 81 and 86. Dito naman ano, pagkatapos in issue 1 nila noong ano, noong 15 July ng July 1948. Ayon dito sa pagkakabanggit na tinutukoy ng mga ano, ng mga original na panahon hanggang sa August 15, 1948. Um, good morning everyone. Um, next is proclamation. Proclamation number 164 issued on January 4, 1950. By the President Carino, granting conditional and limited amnesty to Francisco Mercado, a supporter of President Laurel and other participants to the uprising who the President regarded as motivated by a mistake, mistaken belief that they are just revenges against Tidulai constituted authorities which will be redressed by armed resistance. Um, Dito sa Proclamation 161, proclam sa dito sa Proclamation um, 164, nang issue siya noong January 4, 1950 ni President Carino upang bigyan ng conditional at limited amnesty si Francisco Mercado na support ni President Laurel um, na kung saan, na kung saan pati na rin yung mga kasama na ito na tiwali laban sa gobyerno. Um, The, and, the, and the proclamation covered the crimes of rebellion, sedition, and disloyalty committed by the by said person subjected to their surrender to provincial authorities and laying down of arms and ammunition. Next, um, Republic Act number 18. gives authority to guerrilla amnesty commission to hear amnesty application issue, issue issued on January 12 uh, nag search ako about sa guerrilla amnesty um, dito sa may section 2 nya the proper guerrilla amnesty commission referred to in the preceding section shall a fund petition of the accused receive such as evidence or further evidence as he may submit in support of his application kumbaga this is a guerrilla guerrilla amnesty kumbaga um yung mga evidence na isasubmit niya ay magbibigay support upang bigyan ng approval yung guerrilla amnesty Number um, six, proclamation number 95. Proclamation number 95 declares amnesty to person penalized because of their political or religious belief issue. Kung baga dito naman, nagpo-focus naman dito yung yung mga yung mga taong nag pepen and yung mga taong lumalabag uh, o luma kumakalaban sa political and religious belief. Mga na issue na issue siya noong January 11, 1974. Dito na ang proclamation degree number 2206 Argyle Lands co covering the jurisdiction jurisdiction of military tribunal and civil courts issue on January ay June 6, 1973. Um, number Number 8, Proclamation Decree Number 497 grants amnesty to all Filipino Muslims penalized for their resistance to authorities issued on June 28, 1974. So, sinasabi lang dyan sa Decree 497, papalayan ng batas sa mga Muslim na nag dahil sa hindi pagkaintindihan ng pagkaintindihan ng, sa pagitan ng mga Muslim at ng gobyerno. So, itong Proclamation Decree 497, um, nakasod dito na ano, um, yung mga Muslim na ito ay yung mga nag na o gumawa na ng mga kanya-kanyang grupo laban sa gobyerno. So, number 9, Proclamation Order number 571 was issued on 
November 1, 1974, granting amnesty in favor of officers and ranking leaders of the CPP PKP hooks, which became the Hukbong Mapagpalayang Bayan HMB, malayang samahang magsasaka or masaka, malayang pagkakaisang kabataang Pilipino or MPKP in samahang pambansang kababaihan sa Pilipinas or SPKP who indicated their desire to return to the folds of the law and cooperate with the program of the new society. So, itong Proclamation Order Number 571, nagpo-focus siya sa ano, <clears throat> ganun din naman, pagpapalaya sa mga leader o pinuno. Ito, itong mga nasabing pinuno na to sa mga grupo na ito, tulad ng CPP, PKP Hooks, yan. Uh, na nagmula rin sa ano, HMB, Masaka, M MPKP, and SPKP. Yan. Diyan siya nagpo-focus yung Proclamation Order number 571. Naiso siya nung ano, November 1, 1974. And number 10, Proclamation Decree number 571A. Ito, dalawa yan ha. Yung isa, Proclamation Order 571 Ito naman 571A So, dito tayo Issue on November 2, 1974 Granting amnesty to political expert rates So, dyan naman um, Nag-search lang ako ng konti So, ang, ang meaning kasi ng expert rates Person Living or working in other country became, Because of work reasons Yan So, Ibig sabihin itong Proclamation Decree number 571A, ano sila? Um, kumbaga, hindi sila taga dito sa bansa natin. Hindi sila taga dito sa bansa natin. Taga ibang bansa sila na dito lang sila nagtrabaho. Tapos, yun, nakagawa sila ng, ano, nakapag-violate sila ng law. So, ito yung kailangan nila. Proclamation Decree number 571A. Yan. Next naman is the Triple Agreement. Pursuant to this agreement, signed in Triple Libya on December 23, 1976, a limited and conditional amnesty was granted in favor of the leaders, members, and or sympathizers of the MN MNLF and the Bangsamoro Army on, Feb on February 2, 1997 with the view of attaining the objectives of the peacemaking efforts of the government and, and encouraging dissidents to return to the folds of the law. <clears throat> so, dito naman sa triple agreement, um, babasa yan sa ano, ito na, kumbaga yung kanina, yung una, which is para lang sa mga Muslims na na nagrebelde dahil sa, pag, dahil sa hindi pagkakintindihan. Ito namang triple agreement, para to sa ano sa mga <coughs> rebelde pero hindi muslim. Kumbaga, ito yung mga tumalikod sa ano eh, sa gobyerno, tulad, tulad na lang mga sundalo ganyan na lumipat at gumawa ng ano sarili nilang grupo dahil sa hindi pag-aantindihan niya. So yan, ito yung binibigay sa kanila, the triple agreement. Pero may mga condition niya na hindi lang basta para sa mga leaders yan, pwede rin siya sa members. Yan, at uh, kailangan nilang magawa yung ganyan, no? With the view of attaining the objectives of the peacemaking efforts of the government government and encouraging dissidents to return the faults of the law. So, magbabalik loob sila sa gobyerno, at, ano, yan, susundin nila yan para ma-adapt talaga nila kung anong dapat gawin. So, yeah. Ah, uh, better na na. Ah, uh, Number 12, Presidential Decree Number 1429, issued by the President, late President Marcos on June 10, 1978, which granted conditional amnesty to persons arrested and or changed, or although not arrested and or charged who may have committed act, which made them liable for rebellion, sedition, subversion, illegal possession of firearms and other crimes committed in the last year of Sabi nito sa pre Presidential Decree 9 Number 1429 Issue ni late President Marcos on June 10, 1978 Which granted 
traditional father sa mga first taong na aresto or na charge or not arrested or not charged if they commit have committed a mission they are liable sa kasong rebellion, sedition, surgery Number 13. Proclamation Decree Number 1727. Prohibited the grants and permit for holds for holding public land in Paris, etc. to persons found guilty of rebellion, etc. Issued on October 8, 1980. Prohibit the grant of permit. Sabi rito. Prohibit the grants or permit sabi pagbabawal or di pagbigay na permit di pagbibigay na pahintulot sabi number 14 presidential decree Number 1745 In view of many cases of simple illegal possession of firearms and ammunition filed in a court Date President Marcos issued this decree on November 20, 1980 granting amnesty to persons who were under arrest and or investigated for charged with or convicted of the said crime who applied therefore in writing to the proper authorities within the three months from the date of the decree sabi na ito yung example dito yung kay Robin Padilla ito granting amnesty to person who were under arrest and or investigated for charged with or convicted of ito yung sa halimbawa nito yung kay Robin Padilla legal position of firearms at ibigay pa yung bulot sa isang tao na naakusahan o na naimbestigahan o na charge sa isang kaso o na convict sa isang kaso na nasangkutan niya number 15 proclamation number 80 the amnesty issued by late president Prasol Aquino The person who, in furtherance of their political beliefs, committed act penalized by existing laws issued on February 28, 1987. The proclamation granted amnesty to persons who have committed crimes in furtherance of political beliefs that is covered only those not being in the custody of or charged by or undergoing investigation by the authorities. Pag sinabi na ba natin furtherance, ano yung furtherance? Of their belief, paniniwala. Paniniwala siya na pangumuliti ka. Committed a penalized by existing laws. Sabi. So in number 16, Memorandum Circular 105 issued on September 26, 1989. It is a clarificatory guidelines for processing of amnesty manifestation forms of rebel returning. So ito nga yung mga guidelines na guidelines para sa pag pa-process ng amnesty o pagbibigay ng ganap na pagpapatawad sa isang nagrebelde na gusto ng magbago. Number 17, Executive Order Number 350. Guidelines Governing Processing of Amnesty Manifestation Forms of Rebel Returnees issued on March 13, 1989. So, dito naman sa Executive Order Number 350, dito natin makikita yung mga guidelines sa pagpaprocess, sa pagpapasa ng amnesty. Kasi ang mga nag, 
ang mga nag-aayos nito ay yung mga nasa congress kumbaga sila yung mag approve kung okay ba yung mga kung okay ba na patawarin tong mga nagrebelde dati na gusto nang magbago inisyod to nung March 30, 1989 Number 18, Proclamation Number 10, issued on July 27, 1992 by President Fidel V. Ramos, granting amnesty to persons who filed or will still application for Cory Grant's Amnesty to Rebels, which was published in the Philippine Daily in Quirer on March 1, 1987. So, sa proclamation number 10 naman dito, no? sinasabi dito na nung, nung, nung si Presidente Fidel V. Ramos pa ay dinarant niya yung mga tao, dinarant niya yung amnesty para sa mga taong nagpapasa nito o nagpo-file nito sa pamahalaan. Number 19, Proclamation Number 10, a was issued to cover a total of 4,485 returnees whose applications were not acted upon under the Aquino administration. It also established the National Unification Commission or NUC, which was an advisory body tasked to hold consultations with the people, including all rebel groups as well as Armed Forces of the Philippines or AFP and the Philippine National Police or PNP and to recommend to the President a viable general amnesty program and process which will lead to a just, comprehensive, and lasting peace. So, so dito sa Proclamation No. 10A, kumbaga, sakop na ito yung 4,485 kung saan sila yung mga nag-apply ng amnesty pero hindi naaprubahan nung si President Cory Aquino pa yung nakaupo o yung ad, yung nung administration pa ni Cory Aquino. Tapos naka sakop din dito yung pagbuo ng National Unification Commission or the NCU na na humahawak dun sa mga tao o rebelde na bumabalik, nagbabalik loob o gustong humingi ng tawad sa mga nagawa na nakasalanan sa gobyerno sa gobyerno o pamahalaan natin tapos nandito din yung mga armed forces of the Philippines PNP na nagre-recommend sila na parang bigyang buhay ulit yung Amnesty program Amnesty program sa mga taong gustong magbago para bigas sila Kung, kasi yung amnesty isa tong ganap na pagpapatawad sa isang tao kasi for example ang mga binibigyan lang kasi nito yung mga nagrebelde sa pamahalaan o bagay ito yung mga political crime so ito yung mga tao na mga ano, yung mga tao na kagawa ng krimen. For example, yung treason o pagtataksi sa bayan o sa pamahalaan. Sedition, ito yung panunulso sa bansa. Tapos, o kaya rebellion yung paghihimagsik nga sa pamahalaan natin. 20. Proclamation number 347 by the express terms 6 the to hasten to the peace process and reintegrate as soon as possible all the rebels and sergeants into mainstream of social including those who had been charged or convicted. Siyempre dito sa 20, uh, dito sinasabi na naghahangad ng mabilis na proseso ng kapayapaan. Proseso ng kapayapaan para sa mga rebelde. kasama ang mga nakakausuhan at nahatulan. At sa 21, Proclamation Number 348, issue on March 
1994 granting amnesty to the certain AF AP and PNP personnel who commit acts of connection with counter insurgency option by the virtue of this proclamation is the creation of national amnesty Commun communication or NAC body tax with the determining who among the application are qualified for the amnesty siyempre sa 20 karugtong siya ng karug yung 20 at ito na 21 uh, dito sinasabi na nagbibigay ng amnesty sa mga tauhan ng AFI or PNP uh, at dito rin ay tinitingnan kung sino ang kwalifikado na aplikante para sa amnesty. So, ano nga ba yung amnesty? Siyempre, ito yung yung binibigyan ng isang tao para ma-absuel to or mapawalang sala. 22. Proclamation Number 723 issue on May 17, 1996 granting amnesty to member and supporter to Revolution Alliance sa Makabayan Soldiers of the Filipino People Young Office Union. Siyempre dito, binibigyan, uh, binibigyan ng amnesty ang mga kasapi at uh, taga-suporta ng revolutionaryong alyansa ng makabansa. At Soldiers of the Filipino FIFOL Young Officer. And then, illegal sa you illegal procession by the firearms and ministry to the explosion commit of the murders or incident to the or connecting with the crime of rebellions of the insurrection then there are violence of the article of wars ito yung hindi sa pagsunod ng article war for example the following example sa following ito ano uh, article Artikel si yung ano so, uh, Artikel 59 This section Any person uh, Meaning ito Any person subject to the military law how they serve that attempts to the reserve of the service of the armed forces of the Philippines of the constabulary shall if you open may commit in time of war serve death of the other punishment as a counts material by direct ito yung ano for example uh, military nagkandak sila ng kuhan uh, naka-encuentro sila ng isang grupo din. Parang iyang biyaan yung mga grupo niya ba? Ang muna yung pwedeng ikaso niyo mo. Article 59 This section. Parang huwag ba niyo ikuha na ang yung mga grupo yung mga yung mga protektahan. Yung mga silang ibigyan. Eh. Parang ano lumayo ka sa kanila. Parang gano'n. And then, Articles 26, Obvious with Alive. Hello. This is uh, any person subject to military law or the affairs of the affairs of the fixed time of the part, properly appointed by the duty. It, parang ito yung ano, parang awol. Example, ito yung awol. And then sa C, uh, article, uh, article 67, mutiny or 
edition uh, ano rito yung ano ang meaning nito any persons of the military law that attempt to the create or how begin excite case of join of the or sedition in any company part of the detachment guard of the commercial death the punishment of the trial for dividerik then sa D ito yung ano article 68 will use the surprise mo tini up or sedition ito yung parang nagfailure sila nagfailed yung ano any avengers or soldiers who begin present on any mortality or decision that used to what most in viewers to surprise the same or knowing on the reason of belief that a uh, or sedition is to take place done not to delay the information of truth ang nagpail sila nito ang muna ikaso nila then article 94 by supreme any persons of military law who commits any felony crime branch of the violation of the uh, recognition as a uh, offense the penal nature and is punishment use of penal law of the Philippines or under municipality organizations organize parang ano to sila nagbiolent sila sa may supak baka nang wala sila masunod then sa article 96 conduct and becoming of the officer and gentleman ito yung ano meaning nito any officer cadets flying cadets or pro Provisionary second lieutenant who is the con convicted of conduct and be parang ano um, nag wasya iot ano wasya authority para gitang tang lang uh, ano tinanggal niya yung isang ano or uh, Tinanggal niya yung isang officers, ay gano'n, yung ano, tawag nito, yung sundal, wala, tinanggal niya, tapos wala siya ang authority. Ito yung ikakaso niya. Then, Article 97, General, General Article. Truth not mentioned is the article of disorder and Neglect to the religious of good or the military discipline. Discipline. Parang general article. Ito yung ano. Parang nag-discipline sa ano. Religious or regret. Discipline sa mga military. And then next continue na lang to sa next report number 24 executive order number 299 this was issued on may 17 1996 for the national amnesty commission to verify process and, their term, and determine ram s f p y o u stands for Revolution Aliansang May Bansa Soldiers of, Pilipi, of the Filipino People Young Officers Union Member to the Granted Amnesty um, Executive Order na 
pinirmahan dat, ni dating Pangulong Fidel B. Ramos noong May 16, 1996 upang bigyan ng kapangyarihan ang National Amnesty Commission NAC or NAC na bigyan ng amnestia ang mga rebelding mga membro ng RAM, RAM, SFP, YOU na mabibilang sa listahan na kasama sa Proclamation Number 723 25. Proclamation number 25 issued on September 23, 1998. Amending Proclamation number 347, 5994, regrant of amnesty to rebel insurgent and etc. Nilagdaan ni dating Pangulong Joseph R. Cito Estrada upang amendan ang Proclamation number 3. 347 upang mabigyan ng pagkakataon ang mga rebelding merem membro ng Moro National Liberation Front o MNLF na makapagbagong buhay sa pamagitan ng reconciliation sa, pam- sa pamahalaan rehabilitasyon na kabilang ang amnestia ng mga krimen na kanilang nagawa bago ang December 31, 1996 number 26 Proclamation number 390 Issue on September 29, 2000 Granting amnesty to MLF members who committed crimes in furtherance of their political beliefs Nilagdaan ni dating Pangulong Joseph R. Cito Estrada upang mabigyan ng pagkakataon ang mga sumusuporta at ang mga membro ng Moro Islamic Liberation Front o MLF na makakuha ng amnesty sa gobyerno Granted na hindi sila nakagawa ng mga krimen gaya ng rape, m- murder, kidnapping, for ransom at torture ng mga civilian. 27. Proclamation number 405, granting amnesty to rebels who committed crimes in furtherance of their beliefs issue on October 26, 2000. Nilagdaan ni dating Pangulong Joseph Ejercito Estrada upang mabigyan din ng pagkakataon ang iba pang mga rebelde na hindi kasapi ng Moro Islamic Liberation Front o MLF na makakuha ng amnesty mula sa, mula sa gobyerno at mabigyan sila ng pagkakataon na makapagsilbi sa lipunan mawapawalang sala sila at maibabalik ang kanilang mga karapatan ang mga dating membro ng AFP at PNP ay mabibigay ang kanilang mga retirement at separation benefits Number 28 Proclamation number 1377, Grant of Amnesty to members of CPP, NPA, NDP, and other communist rebel group issued on September 6, 2007. Nilagdaan ni dating Pangulong Gloria Macapagal Arroyo upang mabigyan ng pagkakataon ng mga membro ng CPP, NPA, NDF, at iba pang mga rebelding komunistang grupo. Makakakuha ng amnesty mula sa gobyerno sa mga krimen na nagawa para matupad ang kanilang mga mithiim political. Ang mga ito ay dapat hindi makagawa ng mga krimen gaya ng rape, torture, kidnapping, drugs at iba pang mga krimen na pansarili layunin. Din ng proclamation na ito na ibalik sa mga rebelde ang kanilang mga civil at political rights. In lamang po. Thank you. Proclamation number 50. Proclamation number 50 was issued on October 11, 2010 at President Benigno S. Aquino III. It is a granting amnesty to a certain active and former personnel of the armed forces of the Philippines AFP and their supporters who have or may have committed act or omission punishable under the revised penal code. It means when you are under of the government and you have to commit a crime, your punishment is amnesty. And that's the under of the revised penal code. The article of war or other less connection with in relation or incident to the July 27, 2003 or commission in the February 2006 Marine Standoff and on the November 29, 2007 Manila Pen Incident and related incident. It talks about that um martial law that the president is Ma- Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Congress by majority of each member will now deliberate on whether the past 
a concurrent resolution. It means um, each chamber we need to deliberate or process by the Congress whether pass or concurrent resolution. The amnesty is affected on the date of signing. What Congress is essentially deciding is if it will revoke the amnesty or not. It means that the amnesty is effective when you are giving the date of signing by the Congress and give the amnesty or not. Passage of concurrent resolution is essentially affirmation of the amnesty by each chamber of the legislature. It means that um, the amnesty or each chamber have a legislature. Under the Amnesty and Proclamation Number 50, the concerned AFP personnel and their supporter may apply. So when you are um, apply the Proclamation Number 50, um, the AFP have to support you, which will receive and process the application and determine whether the applicants are covered. So when you are apply, um, will receive and then process your applications and to know or to determine when the applicants are covered. Decision can be appealed to the office of the president. So the appeal have two decisions that are under of the um, office of the president. The amnesty covers the period of 90 days following the date of publication of the proclamation into newspaper of general circulation. It means you have to 90 days to following the date that need to publication the two proclamation whether the newspaper of a general circulation. Effect of the Amnesty Proclamation Number no. 50, issued by President Benigno S. Aquino III. 1. To extinguish any criminal liability for acts committed in relation to in connection with or incident to the July 27, 2003, Oakwood Mutinity. The February 20, 2006, Marines stand of the November 29, 2007, Manila Pen Incident without prejudice to the grantees civil liability for injuries or damages caused to private person. Number one is um, para patayin o yung ano mang merong pananagutan sa krimen na kaugnay sa insidente noong July 27, 2003 or Oakwood Mutinity. Um, uh, noong February 2006 naman is ang mga marin daw ay natanggal sa kanilang pwesto at ang November 29, 2007 ang Manila Pen Incident ay walang pagtatanggi na pagbibigay ng pananagutan doon sa nangyaring pinsala or insidente sa mga gawa ng mga pribadong tao. To effect the restoration of civil and political rights or entitlement, entitlement that may have been suspended, lost, or adversely affected by virtue of any executive action and or administrative criminal action or proceeding lodged against the grantee in connection with the subject incident, including criminal conviction or any forms of, if any. Um, number two naman is sabi dyan is para maisagawa o magawa ulit ang pagbabalik ng ating karapatang individual or civil or sinasabing civil at ng mga politika or politiko na karapatan na pwede ring masuspindi or mawala at sa mga naepektuhan ito ah uh, Pinahintutulutan din naman ayon sa naging visa 
na ang pagsusunod ng aging, na naging aksyon or kilos ng mga kriminal na na pang-administratibo or ang mga nagpatuloy sa paglilitis laban sa bansa uh, laban sa or may kaugnay doon sa pangyayaring insidente kasama rin yung mga kriminal na paniniwala or kung meron Number three, all enlisted personnel of the armed forces of the Philippines whose application for amnesty will be approved shall be entitled to reintegration or reinstatement subject to exercise laws and regulation office of the AFP on the other hand shall not be entitled to reintegration or reinstatement into the service. Um, sabi dyan sa number 3 is lahat daw na meron na taong na-enrolled sa AFP or Armed Forces of the Philippines daban daw is merong application or integration at lahat ng taong merong ganitong application para sa amnesty ay aaprobahan at maaari ding isama or maibalik sa umiiral na mga batas at sa mga regulations at yung tanggapan ng AFP ay sabi is hindi na daw ka dapat dapat na muling ibalik or isama sa kanilang serbisyo For the amnesty shall reinstate the right of AFP personnel to retirement and separation benefits if so qualified under existing laws and regulation at the same time of the commission of the acts for which the amnesty is extended. Um, sabi sa number 4 is ang amnesty naman ay dapat maibalik para sa mga karapat dapat na personal or tauhan ng AFP para din magkaroon ng retirement and magkaroon din ng separation benefits um, kaya naman is kwalifikado as uh, under the existing laws at regulation um, sa parehang oras na kung saan ay mas pinapalawig o mas pinapalawak na amnesty Express amnesty and implied amnesty Express, express amnesty is one granting direct term such as presidential proclamation or law enacted by legis let your granting amnesty implied amnesty is one, one other takes place an international law when a treaty of peace is made between contending parties in domestic or municipal law. Amnesty is either expressed or implied. Space is if implied is if nevatig. Express amnesty is one. anti direct stand is direct terms such as presidential proclamation or uh, law enacted by leg legislature granting amnesty. Pred amnesty naman, ito yung ano, international law, tapos gumawa ka ng peace o gumawa ka ng kasunduan or peace sa con contending parties na di magkasundo tulad ng domestic or municipal. It result from inhibition of the state from prosecuting or punishing person who committed political offense or when the law punishing the certain open, cert crime is repelled with retroactive effect, resulting in the discriminalization of the act, release of those charges or convicted, yung mga convicted, or for the same. Congress recent repeal of Pinawalang visa ng Congress yung Republic Act 1700 as 
known as the anti-supervision law is, is implied amnesty general amnesty and limited amnesty general amnesty is granted to all class of persons within territorial do domains domains po yan hindi domains yung general amnesty naman ito bibigay sila sa all person ng mga binigyan ng binigyan ng ano lupa ng gobyerno pero ano pili lang siya pili or under the effective jurisdiction or the sovereign issuing the decree while as elected limited amnesty cover segment particular class only particular class only ito yung mga particular lang particular ala particular lang mga kilala or the portion of the sovereign ter territorial jurisdiction o kaya yung mga bahagi ng mga ano yung mga pinakamatataas o kaya makapangyarihan na na magwaari ng mga lupang mga matataas na may, may ano sila ng ano kapag may pagmamayari sila ng lupa na malalaki tas kanilang nasasakupan or specific acts committed when a limited or specific time frame a grant general amnesty therefore usually takes effect within the whole country with respect to all political designers who had performed acts from which the amnesty is granted subject to condition imposed by the grant if any a uh, limited amnesty on the grant one qualifies grant with respect to person groups be favored place where the amnesty is to be effective and or the time frame to which the decree was limited thank you po conditional amnesty and unconditional amnesty there is a slight variance in international law where a general general amnesty is general in the sense that it provides immunity for all wrongful acts done by the billing billingarens themselves the member of their forces and their subjects during the war and a limited amnesty provides immunity only for such offenses and or persons provided within terms of the of the degree when the grant of amnesty is subject to the fulfillment or certain requisites such as filing of an application the laying them down of arms and the taking of an oath of a allegiance that amnesty is dim so itong am amnesty na to ay nagbibigay siya ng Binib ang amnesty ay nabibigay ng pagpapatawad sa isang taong nag nagkasala sa gobyerno o sa bansa niya. Na kung saan ang mga nakak ang mga offender dito ay mga political offenders. So binibigyan ang binibigyan ng isang tao binibigyan ng isang tao ng amnesty upang isuko niya sumuko siya sa nagawa niyang pagkakamali sa nagawa niyang kasalanan at mga nga kung hindi na ulit gagawa pa ng ng kasalanan laban sa kanyang bansa at mga kung tapat na maninindihan sa kanyang bansa Conditional amnesty, so may dalawa daw klase ng amnesty, which is the conditional amnesty and unconditional amnesty. From the word conditional, di ba, may mga condition na dapat, na dapat ibigay o gawin yung mga magkukumag, gustong mga aplikante yung magkukumplay ng amnesty. Tapos, kailangan kailangan nilang makomply lahat yon para magkaroon sila ng amnesty. Kasi pag hindi nila nakomply yung conditional amnesty na yon hindi sila mag-grant na mag-granted ng amnesty. While sa unconditional naman, wala naman tong mga, mga condition na sinusunod para ma ano yung amnesty nila na pinafile. 
difference between amnesty and pardon? So, ano nga bang pagkakaiba ng amnesty at pardon? Yung pardon daw, a special form of exercise by the President of the Republic is amnesty. So, amnesty is a general pardon extended to a certain class of people who are usually political offenders. So, dito kasi sa amnesty, hindi naman lahat ng crime na nagagawa ng offender ay pwedeng mabigyan ng amnesty. Kumbaga, ang mga pwede lang mag-file neto ay yung mga nakagawa ng mga politika ay mga political offenders. Hindi hindi porket nakapatay sila, ganun. Hindi pa pwede sa amnesty yun. Pwede yun dun sa papasok siya sa pardon. Although pardon is likewise issued by the president where the court and congress has no say whatsoever. So, sa, um, sa sinasabi dito na sa pardon, kumbaga hindi na kailangan ng korte o approve, approve, dapat approve ng korte or congress yung sa pardon kasi kasi nga yung presidente lang talaga yung nag-i-issue nun. Kumbaga, kumbaga hindi na kailangan ng approval ng court or congress. Pero kasi sa amnesty, kailangan ma-approve muna ng korte at congress yung amnesty bago dun sa president natin. Or sa um, sa presidente ng bansa. Amnesty operates objectively with respect to the crime. And by virtue thereof, the latter shall be regarded as wiped out, pardoned, and forgotten. It is, it is in this respect that an amnesty is distinguished from an ordinary pardon, which is more of a subjective character and solely affects the person pardoned and is granted upon the supposition of the actual existence of the crime. Sa amnesty, kasi talagang totaling wala ka ng kasalaan, parang lilinisin, mawawala na yung kasalanan mo pag nabigyan ka ng, or pag nagranted ka ng amnesty. Tap. Number three, a pardon is very different in its character and and effects from an amnesty which is much more favorable in every respect to those benefited thereby the effects and legal consequences of an amnesty are entirely distinct from and cannot be legally confused with those of a pardon yun nga diba sobrang magkaiba talaga yung pardon tsaka sa amnesty dun pa lang sa pagpaprocess neto or dun pa lang sa mga crime magkaiba na talaga sila dun pa nga lang diba sa crime na ano sa crime depende to sa crime kung political offenders ang mga ang mga offender dito amnesty ang ipafile nila pero pag pero sa mga ibang crime na, doon napapasok yung pardon. Suggested answer are different between pardon and amnesty. In pardon, the convict is excused from serving the sentence but the effects of conviction remain unless ex expressly remitted by the pardon. Hence, for pardon to be valid, there must be sentence already the final and executor at the time the same is granted. Moreover, the grant is a favor of individual convicted offenders, not to a class of convicted offenders. And the crime subject to the grant may be common crimes or political crimes. Finally, in grant is a private act of the chief's executive which does not 
require the concurrence of any other public op office. Dito naman sa pardon, ang pardon ay isang government decision na nag-aalaw sa isang tao na marealive mare yung kanyang mga kinakarap na penalty or consequence na kanyang ginagawang krimen. Pwedeng i-grant yung pardon bago o pagkatapos mong mahatulan. In amnesty, the crime complex of act constituting the crime is erased as through such act was innocent when committed hence the effects of convicted offenders not to individual convicted offender and the crime involved are generally ge, ge, generally political offenses not common crimes and amnesty is a public act that requires the conform, conformity or concurrence of the Philippine state dito naman sa amnesty Yung amnesty naman ay pardon para sa mga nahatulan ng political offenses. Batas na, batas at paghahatol naman ng senador ang ginagamit dito. Example, sila Bong, sila Bong Rebilla, Erap Estrada, yung mga, na, yung mga nakakasuhan na kawani ng gobyerno. The National Amnesty Commission was created by virtue of Proclamation no. 347, date 25 March 1994, to receive and process former rebels applications for amnesty and determine whether the applicants are entitled for the grant of amnesty under said pro proclamation. The commission to date has received almost 25,000 amnesty applications and granted amnesty to more than 20,000 former rebels. When said the National Amnesty Commission, um, ito ay tumutukoy sa mga, na, sa mga taong nakakulong sa isang anbawa, um, Montin Lupa. Ito ay ano, nakakatulong para sa kanila para magbaging um, magbagong buhay katulad ng ano katulad ng mga malalaking kaso. Yan, ganun. Halimbawa na lang din ng ano ng mga ano, dyan, sa mga rebelde. Dito yung dito rin nakakapag bago din sa kanilang buhay ito. Next is the oblation of the National Amnesty Commission by virtue of Executive Order Number 415 issued by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo on March 22, 2005. The National Amnesty Commission is thereby obliged as provided that there in the term of the NCA create created under the proclamation number 347 is thereby deemed expired in view of the completion of its assigned as task as provided by section 4 thereof all assets liabilities to uses in in action equipment facilities funds records and the uh, other properties of the NCA are hereby transferred to the office of the presidential advisor on the peace process. Dito naman, na, anong, itunuturing dito na ang yung NCA ay paso na paso sa pag um, pagkumpleto ng mga itinatat tinalagang gawain 
yung mga tulong, ano, tulad ng ano, naibigay ng naibigay ng section 4 nito na ang NCA ay tinapos na rito ang katulad nun ex, nag expired na ang mga ano tag nun lahat ang lahat ng asset liability choose in action kagamitan o tag nun pondo talaan ay tag nun pag yung lahat ng pag-aari ng NCA ay inilipat sa Office of the Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process. Thank you.